Hey everyone, welcome to Karen um, with Ask the Spirit Guides. So today's theme, I just got done doing coffee with Karen. And so today's theme is a really, really fun one. It's about, <laughs> it's about <coughs> feeling dread and fear, like when that comes up in us and whether like, I really sense that it's because we have a disconnect with our spirit teams and our spirit guides. And that's what it feels like for me. And so I'd love to hear what it feels like for you. But um, if you want to catch Coffee with Karen, where I go, I talk about it a little bit. So I'll link it in this description of this video. I'm also, because this is kind of the theme for the day, I'm going to do an angel card reading using um, this Oracle deck, the Healing Spirits, just to get a little message for us um, in terms of like, is that really what's happening? when we feel dread what you know if it creeps up in us when we feel fear and anxiety if it's not i mentioned in the previous video if it doesn't have anything to do with like a chemical imbalance in your body is it really because we are you know what's is it what is it about is it about the disconnect that we feel from source we don't really trust that we're being guided um, we're not trusting ourselves you know and so I just wanted to do a quick angel reading, mostly for myself, to be honest, but I thought only because I did wake up feeling a little dread today. And so I wanted to get a little inspiration, a little guidance from my spirit team. So I figured I might as well, get, you know, anybody else feeling that way, whenever they stumble upon this video, then maybe that will help too. So again, using the Healing Spirit Oracle, I'm going to say a little prayer and then we'll see what card pops out and I'll read what it's about. So you'll have to let me know if that feels right to you, the message that you're getting today. Okay, so I close my aura to all but my higher self, the God consciousness, my guides and guardians, and ask Archangel Michael to please protect this channel so it's only of the light. Amen. Okay. Hey guys, so I'm talking to my spirit guides. Can you guys please give me... Well, actually, let me start over. Can you please tap into anyone who visits here? So I've got my spirit guides here. I would like the spirit guides <clears throat> of anyone who stumbles upon this video and is watching it. Please tap into their spirit guides now and in the future. And uh, speaking of which, I did a video last night. I will link it in this one as well, you guys. And it was... I kind of really enjoyed it. It was a, I was, I had the, um, I have these dousing rods where I can speak to my spirit guides. And I, the topic was, do we ha all have spirit guides? Like, who are you? You know, basically. So I asked a bunch of questions. So I will link that below too. If, if you're kind of new here and you're wondering, maybe I'll put that as the intro to our channel too. Okay. So anyways, can you guys please tap into all the spirit guides? <clears throat> of anyone who's visiting here and please give us a message on what is this whole feeling of dread that or fear or anxiety mostly dread is what I'm focused on because to me it feels a little different it's that just sinking feeling you get every once in a while it could feel sh like shame but I don't know it just feels different to me so what is it about dread that would be helpful for us to know on as human beings on earth thank you okay so i just get a sense i shuffle i get a sense sometimes something pops out one a card will just pop out or i just feel like it's time to um oh oh okay <coughs> sorry okay well this is the back of the card sometimes people like to see what the back of the card so all the cards look like that but this is the front of the card. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to show the words first. I want you to get feel what that feels like to you. My lighting is not helping here. I'll leave it back here. How does that feel? What do you see? Depends on your mood. It will depend on your mood. And that's actually something to pay attention to. Oh, it's really different close up, isn't it? What do you see? How does that make you feel? Whatever you're seeing. Okay. Anything you relate to. 
So remember what my question was, and here's the words, and I'll read it. Lost, but never alone. Oh. <laughs> okay, so when we're talking about that feeling of dread, lost, but never alone. I mean, how cool is that? So yeah, I woke up this morning, had a little, a li like literally like five seconds of dread. And I, I think it was, I was feeling a little lost. I was feeling a little lost. But the message is, never alone. Lost, but never alone. So number 13, for all my numerology folks out there, if you want to tell us what, what the one, 13 or one plus three equals four, how this might help in this particular reading, that would be amazing. <clears throat> I'll let other people be an expert in that. Okay, so <clears throat> let's read about this. Lost but never alone. <clears throat> there might be times in this world when you feel a great distance from yourself and others, and the sinking feeling of loneliness brings you down. This is the perfect moment to call on your spirit guide and ask if you can know them better. I love that. Your guide will have been waiting for this moment and will be happy to connect with you. In meditation, or you can do it in prayer or in writing, like, you know, um, automatic writing, you're just journaling, whatever comes into your mind. Ask if you can receive a personal sign or sensation that will only occur when your guide is close to you or is acknowledging a question of yours. The same sign or sensation will appear repeatedly until you understand this is your guide's personal calling card and their way of building trust with you. So if you've been in the around the channel for a little while, you'll know that 333 is a huge number for me. And I relate it to my mom, um, passed in 2013, and saw it all the time after she passed. But it also could just be my spirit guides also, um, which by the way, we have two. They confirmed that in that video I, I did with the SGs. Whoops. Um, so yeah, so that was very helpful for me. I'd love to hear what you think. And if this kind of content is helpful for you and you haven't subscribed, uh, that would really help our channel. And um, thumbs up on the video would be awesome. And leaving comments is amazing because it's really about the dialogue that happens in the community. It's not about, it's not, I'm just facilitating dialogue and getting people thinking about stuff. So it's really about what you want to dialogue with and, and what comes out of you that matters more than anything. So um, if you want to, and you feel called to contribute to the community that way, that would be amazing. So, all right, have a good day. Bye-bye.